all right y'all welcome to this video to my channel and i'm about to be doing like a little tutorial on this la bella mafia you know what i'm saying as told by ginger uh iman circa 2005-2004 you know ginger redhead look like so it's really cute i it was definitely a process making this hair first and foremost i got this hair from Asteria wigs i got a lace frontal and then three bundles uh a 16 and then the rest of them was 14 so i just bleached it um with a volume 40 developer and then also when i bleached it like i made sure to bleach the root slags because you know whatever now i messed up the first time when i dyed this hair now i did cajun spice mixed with a little um cinnamon but it came out like too red like i didn't want the red undertones i want more of an orange undertone so i did the ginger with a little french cognac <laughs> And how I did it was at the bottom, as you can see, I did mostly like pretty much all ginger with like a tad bit of French cognac. And at the top is more French cognac and it tips. Let me turn around to the back so you can kind of see, you know, it made a slight gradient how I wanted it. Cause I didn't want to just have an orange head. And it's, oh, when I was dying, girl, I made my own process because I only bought two bottles of the stuff. So I, by the time I dyed the first one, I was like, okay, this ain't gonna stretch out. So I just put some hot water. I put some hot water in the in the mix. And then I just mixed it with like a little bit of the ginger and a little bit of the French cognac. And I brushed it on there. And then like, I kind of went over it with a blow dryer. Now, as far as the hair right now, it's still soft. I uh, would condition it while I was dying and stuff, so it's still soft. So yeah, even with me blow drying it, um, you know, it's still not dry. But it did lose a lot of its curl. Like it's, I feel like it's a, not as curly. And as you can see, the bottom hairs, they're more of like a clumpy curl, which is like the look that I wanted more so. Um, Cause you know like how Ginger's hair looks like clumped together, but the closure was more fine and looser. So it don't clump together as well. I did like a little five minute twist out on it to try to see, to try to make it do something. But it's definitely not as, you know, curly as I wanted to. Um, next time I probably will buy a wig because I ain't got time to be doing no damn wigs and I ain't got time, I ain't got time for none of that shit. And also I wanted it to be fuller at the top and then more shorter. The hair I bought was way too long, uh, whatever. But other than that, I really love this look for $137. This is some good ass hair, you know. And shout out to Rebriana Simone and Peak Mill because I was watching their videos over and over to get this look. Um, they theirs came out really good they did theirs um i think mine's is closer to how peak mills look as far as the color at least this part hers she did straight ginger so hers looks more like this i use more french cognac and i feel like if you use cajun spice you can still get this color on top and let me know in the comments because i do my little crochet wigs too if y'all want to see like a little tutorial of those because those are my favorite girls. It's just like a one, two, three, and gold look. Twenty, thirty dollar look. Okay. Thank y'all for sticking around, watching my little video, my little janky tutorial, whatever. Um, please like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, I really appreciate y'all. Bye. All right. Bye.